what's up? This is Chris Sauber with the Barbell Slayer here at Metroflex Gym Long Beach. Uh, we just had a big event here. I'm a little bit tired. She's holding me up right now. I'm gonna like fall over. Hey. You carry me? <laughs> you carry me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, we just started, I just started my clothing company, Warrior Soul Apparel. Uh, basically, the clothing company, the message is to get you to live your best life. Be your own hero. Uh, what we're doing is uh, we're providing charity to veterans. We're 20% of all of our profits to uh, helping homeless veterans and distressed veterans in danger of committing suicide. So, uh, really important causes. Uh, the company is extremely important to me. Uh, it's basically been the, uh, the outset of my philosophies. I'm uh, living your best life. Uh, everything that I've brought to the fitness industry, everything that I've brought to everything I've ever done. Not everything I've ever done, but everything I've done since uh, I stopped being fucked up. We're <laughs> getting uh, bring it in here and bring it to the I want to thank uh, Paula here for her support. And, uh, absolutely amazing. My channel is Warrior Soul. Um, you can check it out. We've got a lot of cool videos. You can check out www.warriorsoulapparel.com. Uh, we got all, all our videos up there as well. We have this awesome archery program and our coach Jeff Mabry is here. He's a gold medalist with the Paralympics. He works with veterans doing adaptive sports. So if you've got paralyzed limbs, you've got amputations, you've got some PTSD, or if you just want to learn how to shoot archery, he's here today and he'll teach you how to shoot. And he works with a lot of our veterans just to get them back into active sports and re-engage and be a part of the community and just pick up some extra um, just activities to do on the side. Beijing, Golden, London. I do a lot of work with our vets that have come back with disabilities. Basically, you know, I can assess any disability a vet has and get them shooting archery again. So today I'm going to throw a few arrows down, let you see what I do. And since I am missing the arm, came up with biting on a dog leash to shoot my arrows. It's pretty elementary, but it gets the job done. Sweet, sweet. Alzi Garcia. I talked to Fear, he's not gonna be able to make it. Fear? Yeah, he's Simpsons teacher. Holy shit. Very good. He did one more thing if you remember that. So that's pretty much what I do. And, you know, I'm proof. No matter what happens to a guy, if you got a will, and you want something, you can get it done. Hell yeah, brother. Great, man. Appreciate it. Here we got my machine here from I'm So Alpha, and I'll let him take it from here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope everybody's having a good time today. Uh, thankful for everybody to come out. Um, Chris, you have a great tan. You look great today, sir. Now, Chris is my brother, like literally, I love this guy to death. Very good person. Um, so, this whole the warrior soul, like everything it stands for, I'm with it a million percent. So, you know, anything I can do on any level, you know me, I'm there. Uh, a big shout out to all, all, of our, all of our men and women who serve, best friends. Look, we have. It may, a lot of times there's a separation with like, people who are military and people who are not. And it shouldn't be, you know what I mean? Because we're, I'm, I've never fought, I've never served. But I feel like I have, because I feel invested. Like, when the war first started, I never forget this. I was stuck watching TV, watching it back in like 02, 03. And it was like, watching your family like your brother about the fight or your mom or it was that important to me and I, could, I was stuck to the news to the TV watching everything that happened. I couldn't stop. I was obsessed with it because it's like, you know, finally I'm of age to really know what's going on and it's happening, you know, so we, we going through it with y'all, trust me, you know what I mean? So, of course, like I said, I've never experienced what you guys have experienced, but I have been overseas, I've been in the Middle East and you know, for people who have it, uh, who don't give our veterans the respect they, they should have, you go spend some 
time in other countries and you'll see why we live in the best you know, country in the world. You know? I found a huge appreciation when I was in the Middle East, and even in Europe, you know, no place like it. I mean, it's the greatest, greatest nation on earth. But anyway, um, you know, one thing I want to touch on, like, especially with those who, you know, people who suffer from, like, PTSD and stuff like that, you know, PTSD is not uh, exclusive to, like, military. However, I want to offer an alternative. You know, because if anybody here, any of my blogs or stuff that I talk about, you know, and stuff that pops, you know, he said, it's like nothing. He said he said something in the video one time that is just profound, it's so simple. He said, what the fuck is impossible? Absolutely nothing, right? So we have, we are the masters of our own destiny. You know, how our lives turn out is completely up to us. We cannot blame anybody for anything because whatever circumstances that are in front of us, you gotta deal with it. So it's up to you how you deal with it. So with that being said, like, okay, so we go through very traumatic and stressful service situations in life. You know, let's not let that break us down. Let's try to grow from it. You know what I mean? Let's grow. You know, I've been through some very traumatic things in my life. You know, I've been homeless and not too long ago. You know what I mean? But it's like, you get to a point where you gotta make a decision. Do I just lay down and die to this? Or do I just breathe it in and go handle my business? and you know, make something out of myself. So that's all I got to say, you know, let's grow. You know, when we, we are faced with adversity, fuck it, let's make it a good thing. Nothing bad happens to us. Because life is a corny cliche, but it's true. Life is what you make it. It clearly is, simple as that. You know, and I don't accept nothing less from any of my brothers, any of my friends. <laughs> Me and Chris have battled it out. When he was at his lowest, I was kind of insensitive to what he was to his feelings, but not to his circumstance. I'm like, no, I know this guy's a fucking strong, intelligent man. I'm like, you're too smart to be acting the way that you're acting just because this, that, and the third is happening. You know what I mean? He didn't like it at first, but shit, he absorbed it, and you know, he, he completely changed for the better. And you don't realize how much inspiration I'm getting from him from that, from that kind of strength. You know what I mean? So, you know, let's all like support each other. Military, civilian, we all, we all family, you know, so I love all y'all, we here for y'all, um, everybody enjoy the event today, ask questions, take pictures, whatever you want, we here. Paula, the Barbell Slayer, who donated a <laughs> bottle of protein for today's prizes. Um, we're going to get started with a few different competitions, and we got the master over here, he's going to come over and take the mic. One of the most proudest accomplishment of my life is being a veteran of the United States Army. I got out in 1980, honorably discharged, thank you very much. And I went in, so that means I had to go in in the 70s. So, you know, I'm an old, quick baby. Did somebody come with babies here. I'm an old motherfucker. So I'm old school. So I do things the old school way. You see me train people, if you're in the service, then you know that's a drill sergeant. I train people like a drill sergeant. My drill sergeant never gave me a fucking choice about anything. He didn't say, CT, do you feel like running 10 miles today? Do you feel like doing push-ups all day, CT? He said, get your motherfucking ass out there and do that shit. <laughs> you ain't got no fucking choice. So, I didn't like it, but guess what? It was very fucking effective. So I used the same method and no choice, motherfucking man. If you want to train me, you ain't got no goddamn choice but to do that shit. I don't give you no option or no plan B. Get your motherfucking ass down there and do this shit. Okay, I'm not here to take up taking my, my life story. What we're here to do now is see if any of you motherfuckers <laughs> want to give all you got. If you, now, this is a volunteer, since we have a volunteer army now, volunteer service. Not, I'm sorry, I, I'm particular to the army because that's what I'll be. But we have, thank you. Volunteer forces, armed forces service. So that's every motherfucking body. I'm gonna ask who 
wants to volunteer to get their ass kicked today. I'm going to leave that. Oh, that's a volunteer. All right, now you sit down. As you know, I treat women and men the same fucking way. If you volunteer, you're going to get your ass kicked. Now, we like to do a little thing called Last Man or Woman Standing or Lady. First object for the day will be push ups. I pushed up Fort Jackson, South Carolina, to California back in 1977. Now I'm going to see which one of you motherfuckers will be the last man or woman standing. Front, lean, and rest position. I don't even know if they say that anymore. God damn, get down like you're gonna do some push ups and let's get this shit going.
everyone. So hopefully you enjoyed the footage of the event that was put on by Chris Albert. Make sure you check out his line. Um, it's about helping others, all veterans who are homeless or need some sort of help. So that's where 20% of his proceeds go. So if you are a veteran or you have family or you are about helping your fellow Americans, please support and check out his YouTube. It'll be down in the description, okay? So hopefully you enjoy it. Peace.